Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about booby. The booby is a seabird living on the coasts of Central and South America. Boobies are carnivorous birds who eat anchovies, mackerel, sardines, and squid. These feathered creatures appear awkward while walking on land but are excellent flyers and divers. They can live up to 17 years in the wild. Booby facts. The booby bird stays with the same partner for life a group, or colony, can include as many as 200 booby birds a booby bird that spots a fish in the ocean can dive from a height of 80 feet or more in the air the booby is similar in appearance to the gannet when this bird is getting enough vitamins and other nutrients its feet remain deep blue or even purple in color the bird's appearance and behavior a booby bird is 32 to 34 inches long with a wingspan of approximately 5 feet Picture two and a half bowling pins stacked on top of one another and you have the same length as a 34-inch long booby bird. When thinking about a wingspan of 5 feet, picture a length equaling one-fourth of a giraffe. These animals weigh a little over 3 pounds. A 3-pound booby bird is equal in weight to half a brick. The appearance of this feathered creature differs according to its species. Of course, the blue-footed booby is known for its brightly colored feet. This species doesn't start out with blue or purple feet from birth. The babies, or chicks, are born with white feet. Their feet don't turn blue until they're six months old. A brown booby doesn't have blue feet. Instead, it's known for the dark brown feathers on its back and head. The masked booby is also called the masked gannet because it looks a lot like a gannet. Both have mostly white feathers with brown on their wings and tail. The masked booby gets its name because its feathers form a blue mask on its face. The red-footed booby? You guessed it. It's known for its bright red feet. It also has a pink and blue bill that sets it apart from other species of booby birds. The Peruvian booby has brown feathers on its back and wings and a white underside. Alternatively, the Nazca booby has white feathers on its back and some brown on its feathers. Its beak is a combination of orange and pink. This animal has two yellow, intense-looking eyes along with a serrated beak. The rough, sharp edges of its beak help this animal to grab onto the slippery fish that make up its diet. The feet of a booby bird whether it's the blue-footed, red-footed booby, or another species, serve a purpose, other than walking. Male blue-footed boobies show off their feet to attract a mate. Also, both male and females use their feet to cover their chicks in the nest. The largest species is the masked booby. Its wingspan can be as much as 5 feet, 7 inches and it can weigh up to 5 pounds. This animal is social and lives in a colony. There can be a dozen to hundreds of birds in a colony. The large number of birds in a colony can discourage predators from entering the area to try to steal from nests. These creatures can make a lot of noise in the form of grunting, honking, and whistling. So, as you might guess, a colony of these animals is a very loud place to visit. One of the most notable qualities of a blue-footed, red-footed, masked, or another type of booby bird is curiosity. If a human approaches this seabird, it's not likely to be frightened. In fact, they have a reputation for landing on boats or other types of watercraft to check out the activity of the humans aboard. These animals can be aggressive during mating season. For instance, if two males are competing for the attention of a female, then there may be some aggressive behavior between them. Otherwise, they are mostly non-aggressive animals with a curious nature. Booby. The bird's habitat These are tropical creatures. The blue-footed booby lives in Central and South America, specifically on the western coasts. This species is abundant on the Galapagos Islands. The habitat of the brown booby includes the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The masked booby bird's habitat includes large stretches of the Pacific Ocean. This seabird stays in its colony on land throughout the night. During the day, it takes flight to hunt for fish in the ocean. Though these seabirds move in an awkward, unsteady way on land, they are expert flyers. When they spot a fish, they pull their wings flat, against their body as they begin a dive from 80 feet or higher in the air. Furthermore, they can travel 50 feet beneath the surface of the water, 